This is Liz from Cafe Devotion, and today we will be learning how to make these chiffon flowers. Isn't that a beauty? These flowers um, are an easy technique, but we do do melting. I've been showing you a melting techniques in several videos, and I will, if there's something you miss, make sure you go back and look at all of my videos I show you and explain to you the tricks for different types of fabric. I am using a piece of a wedding dress fabric. I'm using, I'm going to start with a white because I haven't, I haven't made a white one so I'm going to make white sheer type of a chiffon. Now you can actually see the glue where I took off the applique but I'm going to use the last edge of it and I I want to show you this part because I keep on saying that you can tear the fabric and what you do is that you I've teared this previously so this side is straight and this part I just cut you cut it first like I did and then you just pull and it tears if two fingers is too difficult for you in other videos I teach you how to use a cardboard so you can cut a cardboard about the width of your two fingers. You keep this section straight and the other one will fall into place. So if it's off a little bit, it'll it's just going to get cut off. Here to here is almost two inches. That's just, I'm just trying to give you a little bit more information every time I make a video. A different type of information. I cut the edges like the points off. Then I round it here so that it's like the shape of a giant thumb. Can you see the shape of my thumb? Okay, then I take, I go to the center and I clip this way. You're not cutting all the way down the fabric, you're just snipping some. And now here, I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to put it really close and focus it. Can you see all those layers? Well, it's because the fabric wasn't completely straight, but it really doesn't matter. Just trim it near the lowest one. So I'm cutting off all that part that's uneven. You see that? All the uneven part got cut off. And so now, now it's pretty even. It measures from here to here around three inches. So I start it with about three, three and a half inches wide. And after I cut it, it's three inches. I like the three inch size. It really makes a beautiful flower the size. When it gets a little bigger, it's a little wider. It kind of gives it a different shape. But you can experiment with whatever fabric you have. Okay, so this end, it was off, so I just cut it off. Okay, I measured the fabric, and it's about 34 inches long. The next thing you will need for this is you will need a hairpin. This is the larger hairpin, not the smaller hairpin. Let me show you the smaller hairpin. There you go. So this is the larger one. And you have a whole strip. Remember, you didn't cut it all the way. And really, I want you to notice that these are not completely even. You see, they're not all exactly the same because the way you fold it. Okay, now you take the center and you start going upward and you start gathering it this way. Okay, I'm almost done gathering it. And while I'm gathering, I usually keep the pin this way and I pull downward. I find that sometimes it comes out here. So just watch what you're doing. And there, it's almost a flower. I am keeping this approximately two inches above the flame. And I'm just melting the petals and sealing them. As you melt the, the chiffon, it actually shrinks up a little bit and it makes the flower a little smaller. So just be aware of that when you're making it. Um, so this part right here has been melted. I don't know if you can tell that from this video, 
and this side has not. You can see the sharper edges. Um, sealing it, sealing this one will make it much look much more finished and beautiful. And I am keeping it two inches above, and it just totally melts so quickly. You have to be careful not to overdo it. But that's how quick it was. I'm. It's like when you have it this way it's so easy to melt compared to other methods that I've tried and it makes this beautiful fluffy flower I showed an organza flower last time and this white works so it seems to melt a lot like an organza it's probably the combination of what kinds of materials are in it whether it's nylon or polyester I don't know what it is um, that is just beautiful I want to put a black center in this one just so it'll pop out you see that beautiful and this is a blue organza it's like a teal color and um, I'm gonna do this section here and um, this one it doesn't melt as quickly as the white one so every fabric that you use you should test it get a piece of the scrap and test it so um, I found that chiffon um, melts very beautifully and gives it now can you see how on this one can you see this edge right here how it gives it a darker blue tone when I melt it even along this edge I haven't melted it much but that actually adds a character to this flower you cannot see that blue that much of the of the color change on this one but for this fiber one you can see it and it just gives um, it this the melted beauty. side just looks more crinkly and um, you're not only melting the edges here I also melt a little above can you see this one right here how wrinkled it is I melt that a little too but make sure you do not put it directly on the flame um keep it about one and a half to two okay, inches okay it's melted completely and now we are going to um, wrap it like we did the other one i want to do this in front of you for your benefit because i want you to see how miraculous it looks from this to what it becomes and how it turns into this beautiful fluffy um, flower and again I twist this once and twice and this like I said that helps to hold it okay I, I make it a little snug now it can be adjusted afterwards a little bit more if you if it's off center a bit so don't worry about it too much like making it exactly center you do want it to be as centered as possible but it, you can actually pull on the the petals with this fabric. Okay, I make it nice and snug. Just tied it. And now I'm just going to knot it. And then you're going to see this beautiful flower. It's This is me not doing any manipulation on the flower. Okay, but you see how the this comes here? So what you do is you kind of pull over. And you'll find that some of the petals kind of go underneath that's what make gives this flower its um, body so you pull those petals upward and you'll see now at this point I will still melt it again because I never you never know what direction all of the petals are going to be so after I put it I do this to it I'll still go back and I'll look and I'll, I'll decide if I think that another petal needs to be you know melted a little bit more because it'll reveal different parts of the petal but can you see how the dark areas give that flower um, character here's a pearl center to give you that example it's beautiful it has layers I see I would melt this one again this is Liz with crafty devotion please tell your friends about my videos subscribe give me a thumbs up I hope you enjoyed our flower making today and you learned a lot 
And remember, if I you have any questions, please ask me. If I went too fast, if there's a question you have, of something you don't understand, ask me and I will help you. I'm trying to teach you um, some beautiful techniques, um, this technique that I've learned. I'll see you next time.